Welcome to the Ask the Experts show with local celebrity hosts, Steve-O and Renee. Sit back each week while Steve-O and Renee educate you with live in-studio experts, such as lawyers, doctors, home improvement, and financial experts in their field. Call in and have your questions answered each week at 888-565-1470. Now, here is Steve-O and Renee with today's expert in their field. Good afternoon, and welcome to another Ask the Experts, where we bring you the top experts in South Florida. We do all the legwork for you, so you don't have to go through Google when or an emergency pages, comes right. up. Yeah, Are there still yellow pages? There are. Are you sure? They're door stops now. <laughs> okay, I was going to say. <laughs> People throw them out. I throw mine out. Well, we want to say hi to everybody, and I'm going to introduce you. My name is Steve-O, and... Still kind of nasally from the last two weeks. I know. You still have crud. Okay. <laughs> I'm here with my gorgeous, my my right hand, my left hand. Why are you looking at me like that? I Go ahead. My co-host, Renee. What's happening, Steve? How you doing? Good. You know, certain shows that you like doing better than others. Today's show is one of those shows because... The guy's a really a good guy. That's because he's from New York. Oh, he's one of my peeps. Are you pulling? I'm telling you, that's the way it goes. You're pulling geography on me. Absolutely. Okay. Anyway, if you'd like to watch this show live, you could go to www.commandpestcontrol.com. Dot what? Dot com. <laughs> Easy for you it's to say. It's been a long day. Dot com and click on the Ask the Experts link at the top of the page. And if you have a question about pest control, you call us at the studio at 888-565-1470. We have... Dot club. <laughs> yeah, dot club. We have a show on this first half that any homeowner... I, you know what? Do you even have to be a homeowner? Listen, if you live in apartments... You could rent and have bugs. Exactly. Okay? Everybody has bugs. And you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna, I haven't said this yet in the last three months. If you live in an apartment complex and whoever's spraying your apartment and is not doing a good job, because we've had that before a long time ago. Yes. Go to your management and say, hey, we heard about a company We're not today. happy with the pest control company. Exactly. We need to switch. <laughs> we heard a company today that is supposed to be the best, and you ought to give them a call. We have the owner of Command Pest Control. Hey, David. Hey, hey David. Welcome to the show. All right. How you doing, man? I'm great. David's with us every month, and he's here not only to help us with pest control, but even more important termites because that could get really that's expensive. really prevalent here yes do a lot of damage to the homes in florida it does so tell people what damage it does it'll destroy most of the wood in your house even though everybody says ah my house is made out of cinder blocks it's made out of cinder blocks but your roof is still made out of wood wow so a lot of damage to your home down here and there's different types of termites oh yeah there's subterranean termites that come up from the ground and they have dry wood termites that'll fly in and attack your home Wow. Would you? I want you to do me a favor. Could you change your last name to Galvan or Galvangi? Sure. Or, I mean, just to make it easier. <laughs> it's Galvani. That's right. It's <laughs> very easy. That's very Italian, isn't it? That is. Anyway, David owns the company. Before we go any further, first of all, tell everybody about your background and how long you've been down here, how long Command Pest Control has been in business. All right, well, I started in business in South Florida in 1995, so it's right about 20 years now. And I actually started a pest control business in New York City. So you'd already been in the pest control business yes. before you even came down here. In the toughest place to be in the pest control business in New York City. And then I relocated down to South Florida, moved my family down here. We've been here ever since. But isn't it more prevalent down here, you know, with the bugs and everything else? I mean, I know in New York it's more about, like, like mice and rats and all that stuff. But don't you think that's more prevalent because of the warm weather? Well, you do have a lot more insects here and termites a lot more prevalent in Florida than they are in New York. With the cold weather, it would kill off the termites, and then maybe you'd get reinfested the next year, and maybe you wouldn't. But in Florida, with the heat, they thrive year-round. Right. That and palmettos. I have a thing. <laughs> I oh discussed this with you last time you were on. I have palmettos, and I can't get rid of them. And you told me, which is, like, horrific. I used to like thinking they were palmettos, but I found out that they're cockroaches. That's right. 
and they're huge. That's right. And how do you get rid of them? I'm sorry, I'm going off <laughs> I know. script, but I have to talk about this because everybody it freaks has me out. Every time I go into my garage and I have an exterminator that comes to the house, I have to switch over to you. <laughs> because every time I, I go into my garage, I have to just tell you this. I went over to touch something in the garage the other day. One jumped on my arm. I was screaming. Nobody came to my rescue. But anyway, why are they so prevalent here? Well, on a garage, you have to find out, take a look around, have your exterminator look around and see where the openings are in the garage. Maybe you need some more weather stripping around the garage door. And also at the bottom of the side wall of the garage, you have usually metal screenings to let the exhaust yes. out. Sometimes the screening's not in there. That's right. So if it's not in there, they could be coming in from there. And also where the pipes come in from the wall from underground, you just want to make sure they're sealed up because the palmetto bugs or roaches are finding their way into your home somewhere. And the easiest and way to control fly. them. That's right. And they're huge. They're and they're huge. huge. So now, <laughs> is there a way to get rid of them? Is there a, a mixture that you use to get it's rid of them? It's not a particular is mixture that you would use, but just like you're having done, you know, you get monthly pest control. This way the chemical will stay active, you know, when they spray the baseboards in your garage. But if anything, you want exclusion. Try to stop, close up the areas where, the, where they're getting the first thing from. you got to do. That's the best thing to do. Is there traps? I mean, like the size of rats. <laughs> <laughs> I need traps in my garage. Yeah. You can put a big glue board. But, uh, it, a glue board? Yeah, like glue and I'd come in the garage and they'd be all stuck on the glue board? Right. <laughs> and then at night, if you went in the garage, you'd be stuck to the bottom of your foot. So maybe just stick with the... See, that's right. this oh lord you know okay. david i thought about you the other night we were watching a show called bar rescue and it was a bar up in huntington new york right and they were talking about fruit flies and they were showing how fast they they you know they just keep... well they pass germs also yeah but it was like is that something that's just up in new york or do you find oh no we get it here too. oh it's... no they're bad here so yes. how do you get rid of those? But they multiply like the, crazy. The easiest thing to do is clean. Ah, that's the easiest. That's this bar was not clean. And that's right. It, you know, the staff may clean every area that you may see. Clean it very good. If they, like, hey, this place looks beautiful, spotless, but it's underneath when they spill stuff on the floor, and they may come and mop the part of the floor that you see, but not underneath. Right. And that's usually where you're going to find them: stagnant water underneath. You know, maybe garbage, maybe old fruit, something that fell underneath that's not being cleared up, and also in the drains. So once you clean up, they should just go yeah, away. you in good shape. Wow. You no, know, also, you do commercial work, too. Oh, absolutely. All these restaurants that are getting shut down, and it's all the same droppings, dead bugs. I mean, you need to get out there, get your card out there. There was, like, last time there was nine restaurants had been shut down by the by the city, by the Board of Health, all because of, I rodents. guess, ro uh, my, whatever's mice or rodent droppings. Yes, but a lot of dead bugs. It's the palmettos. <laughs> the palmettos. <laughs> well, that that's what happens. I mean, in New York City, when I was there, I've been here twenty years. Used to have to sign a sheet every day, every time you sprayed it, once a week, whatever it was. So the health department would know that it's being sprayed. They don't really have that implemented here in, in Florida yet, uh, but. Anything else in a restaurant, I mean, it happens, you know. And the restaurant may be a great restaurant, but sometimes the roaches come to live it. You know, they order stuff from a warehouse and the roaches and come. come. The box, right. That's right. It doesn't always mean that the, the restaurant is dirty. Right. You know, roaches are hitchhikers. Okay. So you're going to import them from a warehouse. Can be they almost anywhere. Not to my house. Though. Well, they could go to your house. They could. They could. I need them to go someplace no. else. Normally, if you're in a house and you develop, you all of a sudden start seeing small roaches. Those are German cockroaches those don't come up from the drains those don't come from outside those usually you bring in from a supermarket anywhere you may have a box in storage somewhere you bring it in that you actually bring them into your house they're, they're hitchhikers and those are the worst ones to have because those are the ones that really infest your home you turn on lights and you see them running around the counters or something like that well they multiply very quickly you know yes. i want to say there's a lot of business owners that listen to our show and if you own a restaurant First of all, you don't want to get shut down, but make sure you've got a good pest control company. Let, let me let's let me tell you what how we what we do is the show's called Ask the Experts. So there's a reason for that. So we find the top businesses in so many areas, and home improvement's a big area for yes, us. Yes, it is. So when we bring somebody on like David, 
with command pest control. There's a reason David is here. First of all, write this number down because you never know, especially with all the people coming, the snowbirds now are all coming home. They've been kind of locked up for the last six months. The, well, you all the also, wind. And you don't want to wait for it to be, well, you know, ants to be all over your house. I mean, you need to spray on a regular basis. Exactly. Absolutely. So give everybody your phone number. All right. It's 954-943-0008. And do you cover Broward and Palm Beach? Oh, absolutely. And we even go to areas of, of North Dade also. Okay. Wow. Um, so it's very, give them your phone number again. Someone was looking for a pen or a pencil and now they have one. Give them your phone uh, number 954-943-0008. And go to his, his website. is really good. It's www.commandpestcontrol.com. Uh, Not dot clom. <laughs> Not clom. And there's a lot of really, really good information. We're getting ready to start talking about something that could cost you a lot of money if it's not taken care termites. of properly. Or termites. Right. That's an area that could be really costly if it's not taken care of Very properly. Costly. So yeah. tell people different types of termites and what the treatment process is for oh, each yeah. type. Mainly there's two types of termites for the most part. There's a couple others, but mainly you have dry wood termites and you have subterranean termites. Dry wood termites fly in from another structure, another home. They're the ones that look like tree. ants except with wings on them. Well, they all kind of look like ants with okay. wings, kind of. Kind of. Even the kinda, ones that don't fly. Well, they all, their secondary swarm is... So all termite types have swarmers. Okay. They all have swarms. And it only happens certain times a year. And what happens is when a colony is getting too big, certain termites in that colony will swarm out of that colony to start a new colony somewhere else. So all types of termites do have wings. You know, into the naked eye, everybody says, hey, I think I have flying ants. But if you look close, a termite looks like it has a two-part body, and an ant looks like it has a three-part body. A termite. How do you can you tell that by just the naked can, eye? Yeah, if you look under, I know a you can. Well, he's the expert, so of course he knows. Well, that. if you look under a microscope or magnifying, you'll see a termite does have a three-part body also, but to the naked eye, it only looks like two. Okay. And it you know, the wings will be one and a half times the length of the body, whereas the ant will be about the same length of the body. And termites also have straight antenna. If you can look Where that close, should people like one day I saw a, a fence that I thought, wow, they're infested with ants. They weren't they were termites where are places people should look on their property are there anywhere that they're more prevalent well, you, i think that if you see that you should call command dad and let do you go out to homes and do a free estimate oh absolutely we'll go out and see what, if you're having a problem a lot of times people think they're having a termite problem they really don't okay and so we'll go out and tell them hey you're having an issue or, or you're not and quite often people aren't having any issue they may have even a couple ants come from outside and they think they have but a are there termite. places that people should look in there within their house that maybe are more well, absolutely. prevalent? Absolutely. If inside the house, if you keep noticing a little pile of, uh, looks like coffee grounds or poppy seeds in a little pile somewhere, you'll see them on your tile floor, or you move your blinds on your window seat, and you see a bunch of wings, or you see a bunch of pellets. So they come into the house? Oh, yeah. You can have them in the house, sure. I thought they just stay outside. No, they come visit you. <laughs> I don't want them to visit me. <laughs> you don't want the welcome back. Right? No, but so they so people should look on their window seals. Right on the window sill inside, you look for wings or you look for pellets. The pellets kind of resemble poppy seeds, more or less. Okay. If you look at it under a microscope, they're not really. It's more shaped like a piece of rice with six sides, but to the naked eye, kind of resembles like a poppy seed, and they'll all be exactly the same. And if you took some of the pellets and you put it in your hand, you won't be able to break them up with your finger. Because... What are the pellets, though? Wood. Oh, they eat cellulose okay. and now and this cellulose. Is what it looks so like they have wood droppings all over the place. Right. Well, yeah, because they eat cellulose, they eat wood, and then now comes wood. Gotcha. So okay. if you find other things on your counter, you're not sure what is it, even a poppy seed. If you rub it your fingers, you can actually break it up. Right, right. Like termite droppings, you can't break up. In Interesting. Okay, yeah. I would never even know. And you know what? Something that's really, we were talking about licensing. You've got like four different licenses. Is that four right? Four licenses Which with is, the state of Florida. So when people they? come to your door with the car going, you know, we're a termite company, the first thing you should do is ask for their license. But there's not do just one. Do you have one. to be licensed right. in the state of Florida? You have to be licensed yeah. in the state of Florida. And there is four different licenses to have. The main one that most people have is a general household pest. Usually the guy that you see come inside your house and spray along the baseboards, what have you, he generally has a general household pest control license. Then you have a different license to spray the lawn. Not everybody can spray a lawn. You have to have a license. 
to spray your lawn and your ornamental plants and your trees around your home. Then you have a license that deals strictly with termites. A guy who sprays your baseboard inside your home may not have a license to treat the termites. Oh, okay. Because it's a, it's a big deal. Do they deal. still try to treat them? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's you what know, I figured. Like, like anywhere else, you know. Because right. no one knows licensed. to ask. Right. So you have to ask your exterminator, are you licensed to do that? And if you're doing termites, are you licensed to do termites? That's what but I'm saying. But with David's company, you'll have to worry he's about it because he's got all four. Right, and the last license is to 10 homes. When we put a tent on a home that you see looks like a circus tent put over a house, that's for dry with termites, and that's a completely different license. That's so what is license. the process for that? Because I've seen that in my neighborhood, you know, the blue tarps over the entire house. So what is the process? So you have to actually move out of your house while you're treating for the termites. <laughs> yes. It's a good idea. No, obviously not going to live in a tent. <laughs> no, you, you, you generally you have to be out of the house for three days and two nights, uh, a minimum of uh, one night. But most companies go three days and two nights. The tent will stay on for somewhere around 17 to 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer than 24 hours, if, depending on the weather condition. And then you usually take the tent off, aerate the home, and then the third day they'll come back and check it with a meter and make sure everything is okay for the occupants to move back into the so home. So you have to clear out all the food and everything in the all house. Your, everything in your food in your house has to come out. Pantry, refrigerator, freezer, all that food wow. has to come out. Because that could get contaminated. That's right. Hold that thought. We're going to go to break. And when we come back, we have more termite talk with Command Pest Control. We'll be right back. Don't let pests, rodents, and termites get the best of you. Call Command Pest Control today. When it's time to spray your lawn and keep those pests off your property, call Command Pest Control at 954-943-0008. Command Pest Control provides exceptional pest control in Broward and Palm Beach counties, so schedule a free inspection today. They specialize in all types of termite control, rodent control, and general pest control. Let their qualified staff protect your home and property from the damage and cost associated with common Florida pest infestation. Command Pest Control has been servicing the Broward and Palm Beach area for over 20 years with their qualified and licensed staff. Call them today at 954-943-0008. That's 954-943-0008 for peace of mind. At Command Pest Control, their goal is to offer you 100% customer satisfaction. For more information, please visit commandpestcontrol.com. And we are back. So we're talking about termites. And folks, listen, if you've never had termites before, if you don't get this taken care of, and and well, they do damage the home. Exactly. So, David, tell them what type of damage they could do if you don't treat for the termites. Scare. Let's tell everybody. Be honest, and if we okay. can't scare the heck out of them. <laughs> well, a dry wood termites, the one that you see generally tented, the homes are tented for. They'll do damage, but it takes them quite a bit longer to do the damage. But once they get in there, then it's going to be a little bit harder to locate all the different areas where they are actually damaging the wood. A lot of times it's behind the walls that you don't see it. A subterranean termite, the ones that come up from the ground, they'll very easily do structural damage to your home. Wow. So are those worse? Way worse. Do you have to tent for those? You don't tent, you would treat the ground because they're gonna come up from the ground, they need moisture content. So those are easy to treat, but they're more, they they They're easy hurt, to treat, right, but, but they do a lot more yeah, damage. they do more damage. Uh, wow. Do you ever have, hear about people that don't take care of their termite problem because there's a lot of things you got to move out of the house, like you said, for three days. You got to take the food out. Are there people well, here's that the problem. lazy? A lot of people see something, they don't really know what it is, and they don't call anybody. And a lot of times, people don't realize they have a termite problem until they go to sell the home. Uh, and then nice. somebody like me with a termite license, the mortgage company generally required that a termite inspection is done. And people are always surprised. Well, I didn't know I had termites, but meanwhile, the wood on the house is almost falling off. But people don't know what to look for. Right. So that's when the problems really get discovered. So sometimes the problem is too far so gone. So it's education, really. Yes, yeah, sometimes you have to get an engineer to come in and actually figure out a, a plan to, you know, re-strengthen some treat, areas right. of the home. Wow. Do you so, actually get called to do when someone's selling their house and an inspection needs to be done? Oh. Do you do that type of work? Oh, absolutely. So if there's realtors out there listening right now... Listen, I know there's a lot of companies out there to choose from, but we got the best, okay? So next time you have a house that needs to be inspected, 
Call Command Pest Control. Give them your phone number. It's 954-943-0008. Shouldn't you have your house inspected anyway for termites every so often? It's a good idea to have your home inspected once a year. You know, there's plenty of companies that'll come out and they'll check it out for you. A lot of companies, they won't charge you. Sometimes you have to be a little leery. You know, if somebody says, oh, you have termites, you need to take care of it right away, you may want to have it checked out and, you know, have a second opinion. Um, you know, and not just homes. I mean, you do businesses as well. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And how often do you recommend spraying your home for insects? Well, there's a lot of people like to get their home sprayed every month where you would see the guy spray the baseboards along the home. That's where the insects go. Is that necessary once a month? It's not really necessary ever to spray your home unless you're having a problem. Necessary. But sometimes, you know, this way the chemicals stay active. If you get insects coming in, then you don't have to worry about getting an infestation in your home. We right. don't really do that. We do what's a yearly pest control. We'll actually come into your house one time a year. It's a package deal that you offer. That's right. We okay. come in your home one time a year, you know, unless you're having a problem. Then we come back, there's no charge. And we'll actually take the outlet covers off around your home. And we'll put dust, magnetized boric acid inside your walls. We'll spray the baseboards at that one time. We'll also put some bait where the pipes come underneath the sinks, where the pipes come out. We'll bait that. And we'll also bait up in your attic. And then we'll spray the outside of your house. And then every three months, we come back and spray the outside of your home also to keep everything going. This way, everybody works. This way, you only have to be home for us one time. Now, you said the outside of the house. You have to treat the outside. You've got yeah. to. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people just think they need to treat the inside. But guess where they're coming that's from? That's right. That's right. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people call up and say, hey, you guys just sprayed. I have a lot of dead insects inside my house. Well, that's because yeah. we sprayed the outside. Right. There's no chemical that's going to disintegrate the bugs. So if you've seen some dead ones, that's a good thing. You may need to get the outside sprayed again or have your exterminator come back and see if they can locate where the problem is actually coming from. A tree outside, behind a gutter. Could be anywhere under a brick But paper. isn't it crazy just to do the inside? Yes. I mean, it's you like, have to do it's, both. You have to do you have, both. You have to do both. And if you had to do one of the two, I do would suggest outside. doing the outside. Okay. Yeah. So once a year, that's it. That's all you need to treat your house? Right. And every now and then you'll have a problem. But right. then you just call us up and we come back. There's no charge for us to come back. But you don't have to worry about every month being home for the exterminator to come one time a year. And we'll come out and take care of everything. And if you do have a problem, we try to work with everybody's schedule the best that we can also. Because obviously, if you had the once a year done... You're a busy person. You're working or you have a lot of things going on. So we try to get you done at a timely fashion where it's good for you. Right. And how about businesses as well? So they should treat once a year also because there's some... Businesses I mean, a little bit different. Food businesses, obviously, they need to spray on a more regular basis. Right. The restaurants, depending on the size, depending on the volume, depending on how clean they are, really dictates how often that they should be treated. Right. You can't really keep applying chemicals every day, but you may be able to go in and treat different areas. Certain chemicals you can only spray every 30 days. You can't just keep spraying them on top. You know, right, you have to be careful because there's food That's and right. everything else. That's right, but businesses, everybody should, you know, have their home checked for insects. Knowing what you know, what should the consumer, what kind of questions should they ask when they're looking to, to bring on a new pest control company or if they think they have termites? What questions should they ask these companies? Well, the main thing is find out if they do have a license and what kind of license they have. You know, you have to remember a lot of companies also, people say, I'm not happy with this company. But they're not really not that happy with the company. They're really unhappy with their one technician. Um, so you just want to find out who's coming to your house. A lot of times people ask us, uh, what's the technician's name coming out? So at least they know who's coming right. out. Um, you, know, you just want to get a little background for them. You know, every time the exterminator comes out to your home, they're finding something else and looking to charge you more money for something. That's I mean, a red flag. Right. That may not be a company <clears throat> that you, that you want to use. But all companies, if they are licensed in the state of Florida, which they're supposed to be, we're all highly regulated. I mean, bonded to bonded to. A well, you have control? to be. You have to be insured. You have to have okay. a license. And the Department of Agriculture actually comes out and it will inspect your business. Wow. Really? Well, yeah, we're regulated. Uh, sometimes I kid like we're doctors or something. Right. I mean, we have the Department of Agriculture. They'll come out. They'll check our records. They'll check our training, make sure everybody's trained. I mean, they, they do a lot. Even sometimes they'll stop the vehicles on the road to make sure that you have the right safety equipment in the vehicle. But I guess it's a good thing because oh, you're dealing with, like, chemicals. It's a very good thing. Yeah. But, uh, I think we're more highly regulated than all other places, you know. They're very big on it. Because had, it's dangerous. We got an email last month after the show, and I'm going to ask this. David's not going to like this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. The lady said, she said, I missed 
the very last part of the show because we always get new listeners. This is David's probably scared. Him. What's going to happen? <laughs> Tell me why they should hire your company over another company. She missed it last. So she said, I, I didn't hear. I said, go watch it. Well, like anyway, you're, if you're my customer or my client, you're not going to get lost in the shuffle. You know, everybody's going to get the care that they need. You call up, you have a problem, we're going to address the problem, we're going to try to get it done for you. All of my technicians are trained by me personally. They'll go out in the field with some of the other senior technicians that I have first, and then they'll go out with me and to make sure that they were trained properly, and I'll go over everything with them. They also get trained inside the office before they even attempt to send them out in the field. So they have a good knowledge of what's going on, and they also know that they're having an issue at home and they can't take care of it. They're not afraid to call the office to call one of the senior techs or to even call me, hey, I'm having a problem, direct me. Because sometimes it takes another set of eyes. You deal with a bigger company, right. the technician could care less. He's just exactly. going to spray, yeah, yeah, I fixed your problem, and he'll move on to the next house. And you'll get lost in the shuffle. Well, How me, quickly won't. will you come out? Like, I know that I've woken up in the morning, and all of a sudden there's ants all over my wall, like swarms of ants. So once somebody calls you, will you come out? What's the time frame that you would come out? Well, listen, if, if we can get to you right away, then you'll have a truck to you right away. Generally, I would say calls get taken care of that day if it's a, a problem, and never more than 24 hours. Wow, so that's great. Know. That's excellent because never more than that. most companies don't do it that quickly. Especially a female, if she sees, like, oh, my God, look at all the ants here. Like me, I'm just you know, raid it. <laughs> you know, who cares? But I'm, I'm You're so, not you supposed know. to spray raid. They tell you not to because it interferes with the chemicals. Is that correct? That's true. That's true. Wow, when did you learn that? I'm learning about bugs. It's the palmettos. They're doing a number on me. Right. Well, a lot of chemicals <laughs> today work through a transfer effect where you don't really want to spray it so much on the insect that you kill the insect. You want to spray it, have the insect will walk over the chemical, even if it's dry, and they'll bring it back to the colony. Most chemicals today are transfer effects. So Whereas if you spray, rain is a, yeah, if you a spray one kill. area, it kills that area. But there's a, the ants will move to another area. Right. It, it, won't, it won't kill the other insects if you don't get to the colony. Got to get the queen, don't you? Well, no, not really. <laughs> that's that's, all, that's, that's the bees. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's for yellow no, jacks. don't they have? I thought well, ants there was a... Well, it's especially with the termites, like a subterranean termite or something, they say you want to get to the... But that's the whole transfer effect. Okay. So you get this termite. All termites rub against each other as they're walking. So sooner or later, it's going to reach its way to the, to the queen. See, so, there is a queen. Yeah, here That's I am. That's what I was going to say. She's sitting right next yeah. to you. Right, right. <laughs> I know. Very good. So the bottom line is you need to actually go with the eye and go around the house, the window seals, the uh, fences if you got a wooden fence. Or you could call command pest control and have them come out and look for you. you got to get be this the, taken yes, care of. Yes, which would be the smarter thing to do. So give your phone number once again. All right, it's 954-943-0008. And your website is www.commandpestcontrol.com. David Galvagni is the owner. He started the company, been in business. How many years have you been I'd in business? About 20 years now. 20 years. Now, let me tell you something. This does not take a rocket scientist. If you've been in business for 20 years, that speaks volumes. You're doing something right. Exactly. You see, listen, the small will will fall off, the ones that are not doing business right. They will not be able to do that for a long time. And if you could, God, if you can survive now 10 years or more, you're doing something right. So see, we do bring in the top experts. One more time, give everybody your phone number. All right, it's 954-943-0008. Perfect. And your website is? www.commandpestcontrol.com. And if you'd like to go back and watch today's show, at the top of the page it says, Ask the Experts. You'll be at, actually be able to not only watch this show again, but watch past shows again. So we're so lucky. We're so glad we have you on with us each month. And uh, that's, wow, that's a loud buzz, isn't it? It is. That's, uh, <laughs> I thought there were some bugs in here. <laughs> so I saw the palmettos. <laughs> She's never going to get off those palmettos, no. ever. But we love having you on the show. Thanks well, for enjoy. coming on, you, David. You're so good. You're like, you make it so easy to do this show. So the company's called Command Pest Control. And uh, we're going to go to break now. And our next show. We'll be back with Michael Puchadas. Who does? 
Go ahead. Oh, you, are you kidding? <laughs> he does. He's an attorney who does insurance, insurance adjusting. Yes. Yeah. And he's really good at it. So if you have a problem in the house and you want to start off with a lawyer, not just a public adjuster, stay Well, he's tuned. not. He's an insurance litigator. But so, he is the expert for an insurance claim. And we'll be right back. Thank you. Hi, I'm Steve-O with the Ask the